Like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds, or this will be in your bed tonight. What is clearly a scam but is so normalized people don't notice. I just paid for the privilege of setting up my router. My cable company recently started trying to charge me for my router, which I own. I got a notice saying we notice an error in billing and we will be charging you for the equipment rental starting in December. The duck you will. I have every receipt from every cable or phone transaction I've ever done for that exact reason. I paid outright for my router so I won't be renting their shitty equipment at $12 a month. Now they want to charge me for my own property. After receiving that notice I hopped right onto customer service to get it resolved. And they directed me to their loyalty department because they could best handle it over there. I cut off the conversation and just cancelled my service. Cable companies are pure scum. Must be nice to have other providers to choose from. Mobile game ads that show gameplay of a Call of Duty or Skyrim style game but in reality are just a spin-off of Candy Crush. Don't forget those game ads that pretend to be puzzle games where you pull pins. Looking at you. Homescapes. R slash Doug Home Escapes. Rent to own furniture and appliances. There was an episode of Hotel Impossible where the owner rented the couch in her lobby on a weekly basis for years. She could have bought multiple couches with the money she spent on that one couch she doesn't even get to keep. For a hotel lobby I could see that being worth it. Lot of traffic. You'll be trashing your furniture regularly. I don't give a shit if my 10 year old couch looks 10 years old. Hotel lobby wants all their shit looking pristine. Manufacturers refusing documentation to private repair enterprises and requiring you to get your products fixed by the dealer. Basically, the reason for the right to repair movement. Ah yes, I used to work with John Deere and they were terrible about it. Farmers are looking for older equipment because they don't have those software lockouts. Agreed. When the crop is coming in, it has to be harvested now, not three weeks from now. What John Deere wants? Tractor brakes. Put it on a truck, ship it to the nearest repair facility, which may be hundreds of miles away, put it in the repair queue, wait until it's fixed, then truck it back to the farm, hundreds of miles away, in the meantime the crop has spoiled, what farmers want, tractor beaks, pull out the diagnostic scanner, check the codes, repair it on the spot, go back to harvesting, total time less than a day for a farming supply company john deere doesn't seem to care much about farmers ticket master duck ticket master duck ticket master the verizon one dollar scam verizon tacked on a one dollar fee onto eight percent of their customers bills each month so over the course of the year they did it to every customer about 150 million their rationale was 50% wouldn't notice and just pay the charge or would notice and wouldn't spend any time fighting a $1 charge. 50% would notice the charge and call to have it removed. Of those, 35% would get frustrated while on the call and give up. This added approximately $120 million to the bottom line each year. 3 total, until court. Once caught, they paid a $25 million fine. That's actually a really smart idea. Illegal but really smart. They don't give a shit if the fine is insignificant. At a certain point, illegal just means you have to pay to do stuff. Those registries that people pay money to name a star. I keep seeing advertisements on FB for companies that will give you official lord or ladership for like $50. Based on giving you the title to a small parcel of land somewhere like Scotland. I googled one of them once. And the first result was a breakdown of why the company is fraudulent and doesn't actually have access to any land anywhere. I bought my friend one square foot of land in Scotland through a legit company. They are actually a forest preserve and do this to raise awareness and interest in forest preservation. It is super cute and they send update newsletters about your land they offer tours as well. Definitely lots of scam knockoffs though. I've seen the name a star thing that was legit through my city's space and science center. The money goes to funding kids programs, but never buy anything off Facebook. That's just asking to be ripped off. Funerals and everything to do with them. The funeral industry has insane pricing. Some of the funeral homes and vendors are even predatory. Getting grieving families to pay upwards of tens of thousands of dollars. Because that's what the deceased would have wanted. You didn't love your father at all, did you? 
was the question that had me slam my fist down on the table. My dad wanted a cardboard box cremation and no memorial. He got a cardboard box cremation and no memorial, with zero upselling from a different cremation service. The state AG got a complaint about the first cremation service. That is some hot garbage. Make sure you go back and leave a Google review for them also if you haven't already done so. People sometimes forget that you can review anything I am sure I have cost my old bed buggy slumlords many potential tenants. Printer ink. Buy a laser printer. Expensive upfront but pennies in the long run. Most come with scan fax features that comes in handy in the new work from home era. I did exactly this. Changed out from inkjet to a color laser. Pretty penny up front. Long term cost has been maybe 1% the total cost of using an inkjet long term. I do not like saying never, but I will indicate that I am incredibly hesitant to any plans for a purchase of an inkjet for the foreseeable future. Often, the point isn't the not noticing, but the having a lack of better alternatives. I hate Amazon as a company but sometimes there is literally no alternative. Duck. Spectrum cable and internet. Duck I had to get that out. My friends and family are stuck with this company because there's no competition. Planned obsolescence. Where products are deliberately designed to have a defect or worse performance shortly after the warranty has expired. Edit. Wow thanks for all the upvotes and the rewards. Here are two examples on how companies can influence how long a product can last. Using inferior materials and critical components. Like using soft metal screws or cheap plastic instead of metal in stress bearing parts. Companies know how long these components on average use last. So they can strategically place them. Designing the product so that components that often need replacing cannot be replaced by just anyone. An example is that a lot of products now have batteries that you cannot replace yourself anymore. Sometimes they are even so designed that even independent repair shops will have a hard time replacing these components. It is not only phones, but can be any electronic product. No shit. My car has a 60,000 mile warranty. 60,007 my transmission shat the bed. Edit. Chrysler. The third dealership I went to finally took pity and covered it. Chrysler is the only car company I do not even consider when buying a car. No car's transmission should go out at 60k, but that's typical stuff for them. Been making hot garbage for 40 years. IDK if anyone remembers power balance bracelets from the early 2000s. A lot of celebrities and athletes advertised for them and they claimed to improve your balance and overall health. Well being a rubber bracelet made in a factory, it was all nonsense but they still sold millions of units before shutting down. A new company owns them now and you can still buy them though. Edit. Yes lol. I heard about this from a Danny Gonzalez video. Here is the link. mutube.com link. They still have things like that. We live in a touristy city and when my in-laws came to visit, my Phil bought a balance bracelet from a street vendor. He said at dinner he could already feel a difference in the way he walked. I love him to death. But, SMH. The placebo effect works even when people know it's a placebo. If you tell me the truth, I won't get mad. Mom. Did your mom also pull out that George Washington and the cherry tree bullshit? As a parent, I try my best to temper my reaction if my kids tell me about something wrong they did rather than me finding out by myself. Having to pay $100 plus for glasses. The prices are so high because the industry is used to the markup. Try these websites to get glasses super cheap. Like $20. You can upload a picture of your face and virtually try on the glasses. Even the high density glass has become widely available. But traditional stores keep selling it like it was researched just last year. Zenioptical.com. Ibuadirect.com. Can confirm. I am currently wearing bifocals that were made by Zenioptical. Of course. My optician says they are shit. But my wallet knows better. Most mega churches. I remember an interview with Kenneth Copeland talking about how he needed a private jet to spread religion. And now the Lord has blessed him with two of them. Must be why he laughs so hard. Listen up. Everything is a scam. Everything. But if you send me $19.99 I can show you how to turn the tables on the scammer and get his money. Limited time offer. Send money now. Do you have PayPal? The games at fairs carnivals. 
There's a Mark Rober video about carnival games, surprisingly interesting for a video about statistics. It's this one, and yes, it's great. Paying for cable TV. The whole idea of paying was to create a revenue stream separate from that of marketing. There are a few out there, HBO, I think, but generally we pay to access the content and still have to spend 20% of the time sitting through commericals. But then streaming comes in and we're free of advertisements again, for a bit. Now YouTube has tons of ads and other streaming services are talking about adding ads as well. Netflix starts doing ads I'm going right back to torrenting. Edit to add because I can't reply to everyone lol. I either do Netflix or find it free to stream on those weird websites you need ad blokers for. I've noticed their ads are through product placement in their original content. I prefer this way of advertising far better than seeing Flo the progressive lady 80 times in one Hulu stream. Edit to add. Duck progressive. Duck Flo and all of the other progressive characters. And a huge duck you to everyone who works on progressive marketing. A guarantee way to never receive by business. Annual college tuition increases. Why aren't they held to a competitive pricing model as opposed to having to take out a mortgage to go to school? Everyone wants to talk about government paying for college education. But there is no conversation on why is it that expensive anyway? Especially when some unis have endowments in the billions that just the interest on those funds could literally pay the tuition for everyone that goes through the door. Update. Whoa. This went crazy. Thank you everyone for keeping it to a civil discussion on the topic as opposed to going on political rants. And thank you for the awards kind strangers. Not only does tuition go up every semester, but the full ride financial aid packages that are 90% loans by the last semester. This happened to me. I got a full ride. Literally the most money the school offered at $60,000. Graduated with $20,000 of debt even with grants. Interestingly. My sister got the same full ride two years later and it was only $54,000. Every single person on the internet that sells some sort of millionaire education it's all bullshit. Every single one of them. They are all ducking lies. Most of them are not even rich to begin with. They fake it enough that some idiots buy it. You are customers to them. Nothing more. You want to be a millionaire? Buy my book and I'll tell you how. You buy the book and it says to start a website selling a book on how to be a millionaire. Reducing a price by one cent to trick our brains into thinking a product costs less than it actually is. Or how gas stations take it one step farther to 9 out of 10 of a cent. Hot milfs in your area. It is my understanding that they are interesting in meeting me tonight. Get in line buddy, there are 4 in my area right now, and they're really, really, bored. Scientific journal memberships. Where academics pay journals to publish their papers which are then peer reviewed by volunteers and the journals themselves are then sold by subscription. Not to mention that a huge part of scientific research, breakthroughs, and discoveries are often subsidized by the taxpayer. So even though I helped indirectly fund their research through the net, I can't read the results without a $200 monthly subscription. I'm sure some academic ethicist could probably speak to this issue in more detail than I can. But that's always bothered the duck out of me. Yes, and it's gotten way worse in the last year or two. Add videos crashing the page and such. Bottled water, like Darsani, especially in places like an amusement park that markups the price a shocking amount. Also the average markup of bottled water is 4000%, which is ducking outrageous. BC water is literally free most places. I'm fuzzy on the details but Warp Tour got in a lot of legal trouble here in Canada because of water. They were in the habit of taking any water bottles or drinks from you when they checked your bag at the gate. Then you get inside and everything costs money. The energy drinks and pop cost less than the water. So most people would buy those instead. One woman bought energy drinks all day because it was a hot summer day. And she wanted to save money for merch. She had a heart attack and died. Now they aren't allowed to confiscate water at the gate. Should be law that they have to make basic tap water available at events like this. Doing your own taxes, and paying to use a privately owned software, or a service, when the government could totally do it for you, send you the details, and ask if it's correct, edit, I want to mention that I'm in Canada, 
which is similar to the US in this regard. I use the free version of the TurboTax software and file for free, but they make the free version intentionally incomplete, so I miss out on tax savings. Edit number 2. Thanks for everyone's free tax software suggestions. Simple tax and studio tax sound great. If I was in the USA I would totally use TurboTaxSuccess.com, but everyone should read the site's tax avoidance hall of fame. Seriously though, I've been procrastinating on my taxes and I'm late for the first year ever. You've saved me with these suggestions and made me feel the anonymous kind of internet famous with the upvotes and awards. Thank you, Red Heart. People in the US calculate their taxes? I mean don't you get a letter from the government to pay them certain amount of money? No, the tax preparation companies lobby hard to prevent this from occurring. It is a big business. College textbook prices. It's crazy how ridiculous expensive they are putting even more of a financial burden on students. It's amazing how one of the professors at my school wrote whatever science book we used for that class. And they'd magically put out a new version every semester. So your $180 Gen Chem IED 6 could only be returned for $5 since ED 7 had just come out. Edit. To put this in context, college was the first time I saw high speed internet. PDFs online was not really a thing yet. New version meaning 6th edition had a tree on the cover. 7th has a giraffe. Members of Senate, Congress, and presidential candidates. Collecting money from corporations, big donors, and hiding it in campaign accounts. Packs and super packs, And then doling it out as they like. They no longer act as a government of the people and for the people. Edit. Since people are reading this and responding. I recommend you get to know and understand the approach of Lawrence Lessig, and his approach to reform which is well thought out and taking root. TED.com link. Thanks. They no longer act as a government of the people and for the people. Sure they do. They're just for corporations people who have deeper pockets than you. Diamond rings for marriage. Basically the entire wedding industry. Starting a new life together? Why not plunge yourselves into thousands of dollars of debt? Anything people do because of tradition is ripe for scamming. Marriage? Scam. Funeral? Scam. Baby shower gifts? Wildly overpriced. Back to base security system monitoring. Huge scam. My smart home security system alerts me faster than ADT ever did. Biggest offenders. When you don't answer the call, they will send out someone and will charge you a fee. And every time your system messes up, it will send false error codes to the monitoring station, which they will charge you a huge fee to fix. And oh if you want to disconnect it, the guy I spoke to from ADT was going to charge me $250 call out plus $50 for every 15 minutes he was at my house. And the job would have taken at least an hour he they said. They may need to go into the roof. No I just called a security installation electrician and he said $50 call out and $30 for every 30 minutes he was there but that was depending on the type of job. He was at my house for 5 minutes. Power off remove power wires from control box protect the wire so it's safe replace cover on control box done. He only charged $50. Compared to ADT's service which would have cost about $450, ADT hardwired it into our power system, without telling us what circuit they plugged into. Basically one flip of a switch outside and the system turns off. Edit. Jesus Christ 1000 upvotes. I guess people really don't like ADT or those companies. I work at an insurance company. We had an insured pay extra for some pump warning. Warning didn't work. Basement flooded. ADT said oh well our contract says that's not our fault. Why pay for a feature when there are no consequence to the company for failing to provide said feature? It, we, in my childhood neighborhood, were all done with it when a woman got raped and murdered in her own home a few blocks away and ADT didn't even send a signal to the police for help. She'd had their service for 10 years and never missed a payment. A neighbor found her body 3 days after the event. Cat food. Look at the cat food at a random store, and see how the design brags about all the healthy vegetables they've crammed into your obligate carnivore's diet. Then check out the ingredients and see how corn, rice, etc. are often the first ingredients. Pet foods market toward humans by trying to appeal to human sensibilities, not genuine desire to provide your cat with the best diet. 
I've been using Costco cat food for a while because it's cheap and convenient. But I recently figured I should look into getting a better food. Turns out the Costco food, with fish as the first two ingredients, is better than 90% of the other stuff I looked at. I was pretty surprised. Unless it's targeting a specific health problem. When a cereal is in the top 4 ingredients on cat food you know it's unfilling garbage. The first ingredients have to be meat. Period. All MLMs they prey on insecure women. Specifically army wives to give in. It's almost like a cult. Guaranteeing new friends. Lots of free trips and make $20,000 a month. They are not your friends. The trips are only free if you become a top earner and the only way to make $20,000 a month is to get at minimum 100 people in your team that work every single day. Most sales from those companies are from the salesperson who is buying it to sell it. And they tell you that you have to buy more to sell more. It's really gross. Edit. Wow thank you to all the awards and responses. I wanted to add something I've been researching MLMS for years. And I want to make what I mean about insecure women clear. Insecure. Meaning. Sad. Lonely. Stressed. Not financially stable. Not guaranteed home. Military family that moves a lot. I've been to these meetings. I've listened in on calls on how to get more recruits. I'm repeating what they have said on these calls and meetings. Sad. Lonely. Insecure. And I also do not mean all insecure women take the bait. I myself am extremely insecure in all which ways and have never joined a MLM. Even though I've been offered a bunch. I hate that they are so predatory towards these people. I want to make something else clear. I in no way judge the women and men and non-binary that take these opportunities. When you don't know where your next paycheck is coming from and you have mouths to feed, they make the offer so tempting. I would hope people choose a different job, but it's definitely tempting especially for stay-at-home moms. Turn your judgment to these disgusting companies and the people higher up in those companies that make people feel like their lives are about to become so much better. Ugh. And then the Facebook invites as the women who bought into it try to get other women to buy from join them. Aunts and cousins reaching out to me to join their weird nail polish makeup ugly leggings cults. Once you finish the high school, it's all fun ahead. Once you finish the degree, it's all fun ahead. Once you get a job, it's all fun ahead. Once you die, it's all fun ahead. Yeah I'm not falling for that trap. And paid internships. Duck anyone who gives them paid internships. People get exploited like shit in that and for what? Most times they don't even count. For what purpose? I get so irritated when someone posts and paid but you'll be given a certificate. Shut the duck up and do the work by yourself you lazy ass. Edit. I'm talking about unpaid internships which don't give you anything other than a certificate. There are very few companies which offer unpaid internships that actually provide some value to you. I'm not blaming normal paid internships at all. I went to culinary college. We had to do an internship for around 3 months, one of our full terms, as a requirement for our degree. We still had to pay the school to go work, for free if you stayed in the area. Because there were so many students available why would they pay? The restaurant I worked at employed 3 other students that term as well. Meaning they got 140-160 hours of free labor every week. I certainly learned things during that time and remember that time well. But I could also have gotten a job earning minimum wage and learned the same things. Well, due to numerous complaints from both my co-interns and future interns the next term mostly because the chef was a dog, they got banned from having interns by the school. Within 6 months of that ban they went out of business because free labor had been helping keep them afloat. The owner was a nice guy, but the restaurant was failing. Those key master games that usually have something like a switch and a pair of beats and stuff. I work part time at an arcade and you physically cannot win a prize until the machine has taken its retail equivalent in cash. Is there any hacks to win this stuff? Mark Rober made a video about arcade games that look like they are skill based but are actually programmed to guarantee profitability. The price for cable and internet. Loot boxes in video games. Legalized gambling market into children. Payday loans. Homeowners insurance. Sorry, we're not selling new policies in your area right now because thing just happened where thing equals earthquake, wildfire, flood, and other things you might 
want to insure against, we don't cover that sort of problem. Where that sort of problem equals anything that actually happens to your house. Due to weasel wording loopholes, you submitted a claim, we're going to triple your rates forever after this. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more interviews.